Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for October 21st, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you all are doing well today. Oh, snap. Just keep in mind, Aries, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you. Okay, I knew something felt weird. Okay, that's what it is. So I'm using a new deck now. I've retired the original Rider Waite tarot deck that I learned tarot with. I've had this for, I guess, three or four years, probably, probably four years. <clears throat> and I've always said whenever I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to retire that deck and use a new one. So now that I'm over 10,000, this is the deck that I'm using. It is called the Wild Unknown Tarot. <clears throat> Pretty awesome deck. I like it so far. So we're going to use this deck and then we're going to use the meaning tarot deck to clarify i got this from new age lifestyle shop you can get it from down there as well really good deck meaning tarot is definitely good for people who are beginners okay i would say so spirit guides god angels ancestors archangel michael show me the cards that i need to see for aries today please show me that aries energy Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Let's get it. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more. One, two, three, four. As always, thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated, and it does help out the channel. Thank you for everyone that has allowed me and helped me to get over 10,000. Thank you all so much. We have the Empress card. So this is a very good card starting out your reading here, Aries. This is Taurus and Libra energy. This is stability, resources, okay? Um, this is this can also represent getting attention. You could be looking very good right now, Aries. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, okay? Um, maybe something to do with your stability or resources or getting help from other people. Uh, clarify the present for Aries. You have the Ten of Wands and the Reversal. This is a weight or a burden that is being lifted off of your shoulders at this time. You have the Hanged Man. So you're looking at life through a new lens here, Aries. You are getting a new perspective on a situation. Or <clears throat> this is Pisces energy. Uh, you could be in a little bit of limbo as far as moving forward. You're not sure exactly what to do as far as moving forward here. But you don't have a weight or a burden on your shoulders anymore, which is nice. And the Empress is that stability. Clarify for Aries in the present. Father of Wands. So very good card for you to come out here, Aries. Okay. This is definitely Aries energy. So in this deck, it has the father, the mother, the son, and the daughter for the suits. Okay. So the Father of Wands would be the King of Wands here, Aries. So this is leadership. All right. Someone that takes action on their goals. Uh, you could be look being, you could be being, you could be being seen as a leader right now, Aries. Other people could be, um, seeing you as a leader or something to this nature okay let's use the other deck to clarify clarify this present situation for aries please holy spirit and holy angels i wonder what the hanged man is what is it that you're getting a new perspective on or looking at differently here okay clarify the present situation for aries please holy spirit and holy angels show me the cards that i need to see clarify the present situation for my aries collective one two three four there we go you have the two of cups so something to do with a relationship or a connection uh for some of you it could be a new relationship or a new connection here okay this could also represent um business partnership okay or some kind of partnership here clarify for aries and the presence you have the strength and the reversal there's something here that maybe you are not 100 percent um sure about Aries. Okay. Strength in the reversal represents like weakness, doubt, paranoia. Okay. It could also represent feeling dominated by someone else's energy. Okay. Uh, clarify the present for Aries. You have these six of pentacles. This is a card of, uh, an equal give and take, or it can also represent a, um, a person that gives usually to people that are less fortunate than them. Okay. So there could be a situation that you're in Aries where you're giving too much or the other person is giving too much. You don't have an equal give and take. You don't have an unequal give and take here in the present, but uh, it does look like with the strength card in the reversal, somebody could be feeling doubtful or weak or paranoid or something. Okay, clarify the present situation for Aries. The death card, because of a change, somebody's worried about change. Aries, if you are leveling up or like moving forward here, especially with the Empress and the Father of Wands card, it looks like you are uh, looking good in a leadership role, okay? You might have somebody that's worried about that. 
okay? Um, if it's not you, Aries, it could be reversed. It could be the other way around. So take it as it resonates. Um, but yeah, it looks like somebody's worried about a situation whenever it comes to you leveling up or uh, progressing, uh, looking good or something, Aries. Let's get one more for Aries in the present to pull it all together. The Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, I mean, I try to keep this in the back of my mind all the time. I would always recommend this for other people. The Knight of Pentacles is being in the energy of attraction. So this represents that your vibe attracts your tribe. So whatever is meant for you, it is coming in for you either way. If something is not meant for you, it will, you know, it might be in your energy for a little bit until you decide to let it be, let it go or whatever. Okay. Until you move on from it. So it looks like you are in the energy of attraction. So whatever energy is meant to come in for you here, Aries, it will come in for you. Okay. So not a, I mean, not a bad situation at all. It just looks like somebody is worried or upset, whether it be you or someone that you're dealing with your Aries feeling doubt or paranoia about a change, okay? A transformation. The death card on in the meaning tarot deck, it does state on the card, it says, death always means leaving something behind. Okay, so in order to go through a change or a transformation, Aries, um, or for, you know, a cross watcher watching this for Aries, in order to go through a change or a transformation, you might have to leave something behind, and that's not always a bad thing. Sometimes it can be perceived as a bad thing, but um, would would you rather have something that you're holding on to that is not meant for you and not change or let go of whatever that is and go ahead and go through a change or a transformation that you're supposed to go through anyways? So let's look at the past the leading up to this present moment for you, Aries. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the past leading up to this present situation for Aries today, please. Let's see it. One, two, three, four. Okay. You have the moon card. So this is confusion. All right. This could be something that is being hidden from you or something that you can't see. Um, you know, like something's being kept under the moon, like hidden from you. So it could also say that you're, it states also that you could be being deceived by someone or um, someone could be lying about something here. But I feel like I'm just going to leave this as a lack of clarity. Clarify the past for Aries, please. You have the daughter of swords in the reversal and the yeah daughter of swords which is in relation to the page of swords in the reversal uh this could be a air sign that you're dealing with aries gemini libra or aquarius okay daughter of swords is in relation to the page of swords and the reversal so this would be uh someone that is paying attention to or watching what you have going on it could also be that they're asking about you through acquaintances or and or um paying attention to your social media if you have platforms. Uh, this also represents gossip in the negative aspect in the reversal. It can be that they're gossiping about what you have going on. Okay, clarify the past for Aries. You have the two of swords and the reversal. Okay, two of swords and the reversal represents someone feels that they have made a bad decision. Okay, this is Libra energy. Could be dealing with a Libra. You might have Libra somewhere in your chart, Aries. Okay, two of swords in the reversal. <clears throat> Two of Swords in the Reversal represents indecision or feeling that someone has made a bad decision or a bad choice here. Okay, something to this nature. Clarify the past for Aries. Two of Swords in the Reversal can also represent that someone in your energy is wanting to try and work things out with you. It can say, uh, that's how I learned in the book from Dusty White. It states like, swords are sheathed and hands come out to grasp each other in agreement. Okay, so you could have someone that's paying attention to what you have going on that's trying to work things out with you. Maybe you're confused about it. Maybe there was a decision that was made here in the past, Aries, and um, you're confused as to why a decision that was made, okay, or something like that, or vice versa. Clarify the past for Aries. You have the Eight of Cups, okay? So it looks like you walked away from someone or someone walked away from you here, Aries, okay? Yeah, this is walking away, moving on, okay? Letting go of anything that does not serve your highest purpose here, okay? It's usually something that you put a lot of time, energy, and effort into. Uh, so it looks like somebody's upset, feeling like they made a bad decision, okay? And they're confused about it. So let's clarify this past situation for Aries, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angels. I think that Eight of Cups is... Um, is it Scorpio or Cancer? I can't even remember off the top of my head. No, Cancer's early in the deck. So maybe Scorpio energy or Pisces. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify this past situation for Aries today, please. Show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. There we go. You have the Knight of Swords. Okay, and this is an unstoppable force. Someone that charges ahead, moves forward, doesn't let anything slow them down or hold them back here. Okay, very heavy air energy in the past. Aries, Aries, Leo, said, I mean, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, since I said it for some of you. Clarify the past for Aries. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
You have the Queen of Wands, so this is you always being able to rely on your natural confidence here, Aries. You could be doing something new, maybe something that you've never done before. And this is a card of kind of learning as you go, but you always have that natural confidence to rely on, even if you are learning as you go here, okay? You have the Nine of Wands in the reversal, which is frustration over delays or obstacles that are placed in your path here, whether it be you or someone that you're dealing with, somebody's frustrated, what else? You have the world card. This is a completion. Okay, this is a card of happiness. You're about to restart on the fool's journey as the fool. Okay, the world card is a completion here. You've completed a cycle. There's very clear evidence in this reading here that someone's uh, kind of stressed out about your progress. It's kind of what it looks like if it is you. If it's not you, Aries, it looks like you are stressed out about someone's progress. And that would almost always go back to uh, trauma that hasn't been resolved and that's not always a bad thing it's just kind of evident in this reading okay there's some kind of trauma here that hasn't been resolved and it's causing someone to be stressed out over progression let me get one more for aries in the past to pull it all together ace of cups so this is showing me especially with the uh, knight of swords if that is you aries queen of wands i mean this is the ace of cups you're happy okay this is a card of happiness emotional fulfillment um, unconditional love. I feel like this could also represent Aries. You could be in a relationship with this person, possibly one or number two. This person has a lot of love for you or vice versa. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be family for some of you. Okay. So not bad Aries. Okay. It's not a bad thing. I would say it's just that someone has a, a lot of energy about being stressed out about progression. So excuse me, but that's one thing that we all know 100% that we're going to do while we're here on earth. The only thing we know for sure is that things are going to change, okay? Things can't always stay the same. So let's look at your future, Aries. What do you have coming in? What do you have to look forward to? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the future for Aries today, please. Show me Aries' future. One, two, three, four. There we go. You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Reversal. I feel like every single time I've gotten the Ten of Pentacles in this deck, it's been in the Reversal so far. Nah, I might have had it in the Upright one time. So... Ten of Pentacles in the Reversal, Aries. This is like the fall of a great house of power. Okay, this would be a separation or two people going their own way, or it could be like a loss of financial stability. You have the Six of Cups in the Reversal. What is Six of Cups in the Upright position? Oh, yeah. Okay. Six of Cups in the Upright is giving without expectation, machination, or hidden inference. Six of Cups in the Reversal is a longing for everything that it represents in the Upright. So it looks like someone here is kind of missing your energy. That's Scorpio energy, if I'm not mistaken, okay? Um, if it's not someone missing your energy, it's definitely you missing someone's energy here, Aries. Um, I'll also read the Six of Cups in the Reversal as you stop pouring into other people other people's cups and you start pouring that energy back into yourself so there is still a longing there from the fact that you no longer are pouring into someone but it's like you've redirected that energy and started pouring, pouring it back into yourself you have the three of wands in the reversal so possible sabotage by a team member of a project early on okay so someone and this is aries energy someone could be looking at you as sabotaging a connection here aries if you're moving on or if you start or, or if you stop pouring into a connection here Someone is seeing you as a person that no longer wants to build with them or you're not like wanting to build in the same way. I would say clarify the future for Aries. You have the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. So Wheel of Fortune in the upright is good luck, good fortune, things working out your way, but it's based on effort and work that you've been putting in. Okay, it's not usually something that just happens. It's based on a reaction to what you are doing. So it looks like the Wheel of Fortune is happening in the upright position in a good way for you, but it's after someone else is feeling uh, kind of like, it's kind of like Five of Pentacles energy, even though we don't have Five of Pentacles, which is like uh, left out in the cold or kicked to the curb here, Aries, so to speak. Someone's feeling kind of left out by you, I would say. So if it's not that, it's the other way around. You're feeling left out by someone or kicked to the curb. So clarify the future for Aries today, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Clarify the future for Aries. One, two, three, four. There we go. You have the tower in the upright position. Okay, I think I stated that in another in another reading. I think it was the Pisces reading at the end. Uh, if you have Pisces in your chart, check out the Pisces reading, okay? But the tower in the upright position. So this is a shock to the system, usually something that is very external and unexpected. It literally says on the card, it says, always expect the unexpected. So... 
And what happens with the tower is whenever the tower comes, it's bringing people back down to reality. Like in the tower card, the people are refusing to see reality for what it is. So then the tower gets struck by lightning, the people it catches on fire and the people have to jump out of the window. And it represents being brought back down to reality. So you're seeing reality for what it is here in the future Aries. This is Aries and Scorpio energy. Clarify the future for Aries. You have the Ten of Wands. So this represents a weight or a burden that is on someone's shoulders at this time. So someone's feeling the weight or the burden of this situation. You have the Three of Swords in the reversal. This is Libra energy. Uh, Ten of Wands is uh, Sagittarius energy. Three of Swords in the reversal is healing, recovering, recuperating, okay, uh, from usually heartbreak or pain. It represents a release or recovery. So you could be Someone could be letting go of the situation or letting you go. Someone's going through a tower moment though, which is kind of unfortunate, okay? You have the queen of swords in the upright positions, which states that your clear communication expresses what is best for all. Someone can be communicating with you very clearly, Aries, or you are communicating clearly with someone. Uh, it's causing a tower moment. So let's get one more for Aries to pull it all together in the future, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Page of swords in the reversal. Okay, so um, I would say kind of a pretty clear message here Aries it looks like the same person here in the past that was paying attention to what you have going on all right after you let go or move on from them okay it looks like the same person is coming out in the future here for you okay it could be uh, air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius doesn't have to be okay but it's the same person that uh, is paying attention to what you have going on this represents gossip in a negative light usually uh, either that or they're just paying attention to what you have and gossiping about it okay have going on and gossiping about it uh, paying attention to your social media or asking about you through acquaintances or family if they know who they are. Okay, so. Uh, okay, let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of the situation for you, Aries. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, Big Bubba Mac. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. Show me that Aries energy. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. Let's get one Mystic Red Rose card on this person in the future. I'm just going to pull the card on the top. What's it say? Mirror. It says mirroring each other, self-reflection, introspection, and inner wounds. Some of you, this is probably a twin flame, okay? It doesn't even, like, that's that's not exactly what that means, that's, but that's usually what I get whenever I read that card is twin flame connection. Okay, what else for Aries? Yeah, oh, wow. Okay, very first card. It says, are they running or are you? Okay. This usually represents that you're in a twin flame connection. One person's the runner, one person's the chaser here. Okay, so one, somebody's running, somebody's chasing. What else? We have clear courts. Okay, it might be beneficial for you to work with clear courts at this time, Aries. This is enhancing mental clarity, aid in emotional stability. It is used during manifestation. Okay, so it might help you figure out what to do here if this is you, Aries. What else? We have sadness, so... So I'm feeling sadness throughout this reading, Aries, you or someone that you're dealing with. There's something about sadness that's significant here. What else for Aries, please? We have tape. So someone is stuck on you or they're stuck in their head or they're trying to keep you stuck or something about tape is significant here. Okay, what else for Aries, please? We have sister. So something about a sister could be significant here. You have a sister or you are a sister or something about someone's sister is significant here. What else for Aries, please? One, two, three, four. We have black seed oil. Okay, if you're dealing with any health issues, this could be very beneficial for you. That's like a random message, but you know, black seed oil is very beneficial for your health. Okay, you can get that from New Age Lifestyle Shop in the description box below if you would like to get black seed oil. We have plant or plants. You could be someone that owns a plant or plants, or you work at a plant, or the person that you're dealing with does, or they have plants or something. Something about plant or plants is significant. All right, we have F, someone's first, middle, or last name could start with an F, yours or theirs, okay? Okay, one second here, there we go. What else for Aries, please? We have Ring. Somebody might be giving you a call, Aries. For some of you, you might be engaged or married to this person or something about Ring is significant here. What else? We have Sagittarius. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or you might have Sagittarius somewhere in your chart. Something about Sagittarius is significant here. What else? One, two, three, four. We have life force. So something about your life force is significant. Maybe you're using your life force to be able to move forward here. Maybe you're draining someone's life force or someone's draining your life force or something Aries. Okay, something about life force. What else? 
We have shower. Something about shower is significant here. Maybe you're uh, getting your shower fixed or someone thinks about you in the shower or something about shower is significant here. What else for Aries? We have perseverance is called for. So yeah, if, if you're dealing with obstacles right now here, Aries, keep pushing forward, okay? Have patience, rely on that inner strength, all right? Be persistent, keep pushing forward. What else for Aries? You have made the right choice. So whatever choice that you make here, Aries, if you've already made one, you have made the right choice. If you're going to make a choice, it will be the right choice. So, you know, have faith in your intuition here. You will make the right choice, okay? All right, Aries, if you would like to reach out to me for a personal reading, all the information about that is in the description box below. And anything else you need to know about me will be down there as well, okay? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first. See you guys later.